Hi everyone, welcome to another How I Made This. Today I'll be showing you my compositing process. Compositing is where you take all the different parts of your animation like characters, backgrounds, effects, and put them all together with any camera moves and lighting you need to finish the shot. Compositing might sound intimidating, but it can be as simple as arranging your character animation between background layers and just adding a texture on top. You can composite your shots in your animation program or in an editing software by exporting the different layers with transparency, usually as a PNG sequence, and arrange everything there. A few professional compositing softwares are Adobe After Effects, DaVinci Resolve, which has a free version, Fusion, Nuke, which has a free non-commercial version, and Blender. I've used After Effects at university and more recently I've tried Blender and the free version of DaVinci Resolve to do some simple compositing. For most of this project I've been using my animation program which is TV Paint 11 Pro. The compositing process for this shot is pretty simple, as I've been thinking about how I was going to arrange my layers when I made the backgrounds and storyboards for this project. So, by keeping the desk layers separate from each other I can move the characters and prop layers between them giving the shot a bit more depth. This character at the front is animated in sections, so I can position her arm above the desk while the rest of her body is behind it. This also means that I can hide any rough edges in the line work and colouring. I then used a textured brush from my TV Paint brush pack and different colours, each on a separate layer, to add texture to the shot. These were positioned on top of any backgrounds, characters and props, Typically, I'll use purples for shadows, and depending on the light source and mood of the shots, I'll use yellow and pink for warm highlights, or blue for a colder feel. I'll then go through the blending modes for each until I find a look I like. If I've made a colour script, I'll look back at this for reference. If there's a particular style that you want to work in, using references for TV shows or films that you like, and trying to recreate that look is a great way to practice and figure out how to do something similar in your own work. Where is the light source? How does that interact with the background? Are the lines harsh or soft? Do the colours of the character fit well with the background? Is there a gradient or overlay of some kind to make them match? For this establishing shot, I added several cars which were keyframed to travel across the screen and character silhouettes that use the boiling line technique to give them a bit of a wiggle. I added a couple of textures on top to brighten things up, and finally added a camera move at the end to finish off this shot. The time this step takes will depend on how complicated the shots are, but once the compositing process has been finished for my animation, it's then time to move on to the final step in my process. As always, I hope this video helped. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more animations and tutorials from me, and I'll be back with another video real soon. Bye.